Hey, good morning from the hash knife. Well, today is the day that cows and calves get to have some company. And uh, we're just taking this short little bunch. We've only got about all oh, 30 head in this little group here. And a couple of bulls. And you can see the bulls up in the very front following a cow. They're already doing their job. Try attempting to. So we're going to move them up to another little pasture here where we had some water issues earlier in the week. We had them up there a week ago. Get that solved. Well, with that bull, what the heck. We'll just wait until it's time to turn the bulls in. It's usually about this time of year, about the 5th, 6th of June, so that we can have a mid-March start on the calving. And sorry the wind is blowing like normal. If Lisa's up there, the Pied Pied Piper with her little scooter and she's gonna wait hold up at the gate and hopefully get all these calves through the gate and then we're just gonna go up there behind that building where the water's at take them to it mother some cows up and we'll be done really short easy day to day for moving some cows it's about 59 60 degrees at the most that's actually kind of cool compared to the last couple of days so it's nice these cows are moving well they're not hot they're not stressed and they're a little willing to go with the wind, so we just line things up just right for once. And we'll have these bulls in here with these girls for about two months and making babies. Let's hope. We got horses making babies, bulls making babies. This is exactly what we need to see. Maybe we'll get a little bit of behavior up here from some of these cows in a little bit. Here we go cow receptive she is she's just standing there her ears pinned there we go good sometimes these cows will mount each other uh, one's in heat and the other one is uh, will mount her you never know for sure which one is which because the ones will sometimes be the mounters will be in heat and sometimes the mounties are in heat so you, you got to just kind of watch their behavior as bull's chasing her pretty hard. She's not quite receptive anymore. She just got bred, so she says, ah, that's enough. But she may breed, you know, a dozen times, 20 times in 48 hours. So she may be just going out of here. She's going to stand for him. So that's good. That's what we want to see. Look at that bull's working these cows. We want to see him go to work. Both of these bulls have... We've had one for uh, two years and the other one for last year. This is his first year, so these are experienced guys. They know what to do. They're not like they see green grass and start eating because they will do that. You wonder if you've bought a bum bull, you might call him. <laughs> so anyway, the way to tell whether one of these cows is in heat, you watch them with one cow mounts another. If the one on the bottom will stand and really tolerate it, She's probably the one in heat. Uh, if she won't, if she's just trying to scurry away and get away, then the one that's on top is the one that's in heat is a pretty good rule of thumb. It's it's very difficult sometimes to tell, so uh, you just got to kind of watch behaviors of both of them, not just one. Just because one's mounting doesn't mean that she's the one that's actually in heat. So this bull's checking her out. He's sniffing. Watch his nose. He may curl his lip, upper lip up. There's a organ inside their nose and for the brain that detects hormones receptive for being in estrus and they'll get some uh, odor on their nose and then lay their head up picking their nose up and he's not even gonna worry he's gonna read her she's receptive that's good all right I would love to have all these breeze up in about a week. I would way make it easier calving time, but it just doesn't happen that way. But it's nice to see these these bulls going to work right away. These cows are receptive. They're they're on the gain. Uh, a cow will always conceive a little better, breed back a little better if they're gaining weight. And no, most animals are. It doesn't. You don't necessarily want them fat and chunky. Uh, we kind of like to see our cattle fleshy, but there's a time when if they're on the gain, gaining weight 
in the spring and then breeding, that's a really good time. They're much more receptive to conception. So that's a good thing. That's, these guys are in plenty good shape. And they could they could be worse. They could certainly be fatter too. But normally I'm waiting for these cattle to mother up, kind of hold them here. We got this water tank we got working, and these calves are kind of sticking with them. A lot of them have been already mothered up, so I'm not too concerned about it. Just kind of hang here and watch and wait for a while. And we watch these bulls sniffing these cows and uh, so you get that flaming action or that nose curled back to uh, deliver some of the hormone to the, uh, it's called the Jacobson's organ in the, uh, in the nose send a signal to the brain in that nasal cavity, brain cavity. And I haven't really seen them display that really hard yet. Doggone wind. There we go, she might be receptive because they're both. She's not receptive, she just got some hormone easing. And they can detect a little bit. And these bulls will put on a lot of miles, especially when it's cool like this. Yeah, she's not quite receptive. And, uh, they're both willing. They'll, but they will compete, and uh, they will also just stay right at it on these cows. They'll, they'll be very diligent. And what you're seeing there is a, that's a heifer. Next year will be her first, next spring will be her first calf, so she's a little bit shy about what she needs to do, but uh, they'll wear her down there, she might stand, she's kind of cricking that tail out a little bit, see that, way down there, there he goes, yep, okay, so she was just unsure what she needed to do, and I think they kind of tag teamed her there. So shy no more. Let's see if we can get a little bit of behavior here from this bull. This cow, this spring was the first time caver. She knows what's going on. She's just not all that receptive. Specimen, kind of a beast. Big, thick, long back bull. Pack a lot of meat on some bone. That's what we're looking to do. Get them some milk. Produce some nice calves with fast gain. Want to have a light birth weight calf so it isn't hard on the cow, but then you want them to grow like crazy. Fast gain. Get as much weight on them as you can until. A uh, or weaned in the fall. There's some good behavior, the flaming behavior. Taking that hormone, sending it up to Jacobson's organ until whether or not she's really in heat or not. The hormone levels are high enough that he's gonna chase her. He's, he's kind of disinterested, not too much there. So there's a good behavior for you. All right, this little bunch of bulls, we're gonna move with the trailer. There we go, one at a time, fellas. And we're gonna take these over to the cows we moved last week. Right, come on, boys, hip, 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 get up there. Get up there, shh, 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 hip. And bulls being bulls, this isn't always the easiest thing in the world because they just don't think they need to, especially this guy, doesn't think he needs to move. Come on, kid, get up there, hip. Hip, hip. Come on, bullies. 
You want to twist the tail on that lead one up there? There you go. Hip. Hip. Keep going. See, Lisa's good at poking things with a stick. Normally me. Hip, hip, hip. There you go, boys. One goes. They all go. There we go. There we go. Right on up the chute. That was easy enough. And then, hold on. You're fine. I'll do it. This old gate on this trailer's seen better days. So, we'll flip it over here. There we go. All right. You want to pull it forward, honey? Thank you. This is why husbands and wives shouldn't work cattle together. See, she's mad at me because she doesn't even acknowledge me. This is how it goes. So, used to be she chauffeured boys everywhere, and now she's chauffeuring boys only of a different species somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll take them down here several miles and dump them out with these cows at the water hole. This is actually with these bulls, it's a whole lot easier to just haul them and dump them out than it is to just push them by themselves because they are a real pain. They don't want to move, they're lazy, and they just don't like being told what to do. So here's where, why we're doing this. If they're with a bunch of cows, they move really well, like the last bunch, but we didn't have to go very far there either, so. Hey, Harley. Hi. Oh yeah, good cow dog. <laughs> All right, look at these faces. And look at these faces. Hey, Big Rhonda. How are you? Are you ready? Yeah. Ready? Open the gate. A bunch of some friends. Come on, big boys. Find your way out of there. Come on, big number two. That up, boy. Bull's already talking. All right. Bring them with these cows. They're right here at the water. The water hole's right down here, but that's close enough. Because these cows are not going to make them run away. There we go. She might be fairly receptive. Maybe not. That flaming activity again with it. These other three are virgin bulls, brand new bulls. There we go. Using that Jacobson's organ again to detect. Look at hormones. Look at him. He's right on things. Nature taking course. Yeah, I'd say that's not very receptive. Cows are curious. Yeah, you're a bull. I'm wild about you. And they're just kind of settling. Not much is going to happen here. So it doesn't look like there's much going on, and there's not. Because uh, it's cool, and these cows have scattered everywhere looking for some grass. But this is a really good water hole here and it's very, very uh, sound water, good water, and lots of it. Yeah, it's all spring fed so as it warms up these cows will be here and these bulls will spend a significant amount of time on this water too. They don't travel as far as a cow will. I mean they'll travel but again they're lazy. That's why having uh, there's some flaming activity, that little guy down there. Having some uh, number of options on your bulls is a good help too because you want to make sure your bulls are covering these cows. If you've got many water holes, these cows will get scattered out, the bulls will stay on one, and you'll have a bunch of cows staying on a 
water hole that there's no bulls at and they may or may not cycle and be away from a bull and that's not what you want so I like to saturate our cows with bulls have plenty of bulls per head of number of cows and that way we're covered and they can scatter they can move now the bunch we just took up and pushed by horseback there's only about oh 30 31 cows I think I think there's 16 pairs and then an additional 15 yeah so 31 and we put two bulls in there that's more than adequate but I want to make sure we have got options we have a bull that uh, breaks his penis or something and we haven't found it right away then we're going to want to make sure that we've got another bull covering for him so I don't like taking the risk of having just one bull with a bunch of cows and uh, so that's why we've got two with that bunch and then these other four will cover these other uh, bunch of cows in this pretty good sized pasture it's about 2,000 acres just short of 2,000 acres in this pasture here These cows are saying, God, this was nice before these bulls were in here. We were quiet, enjoying life, and now they're pestering us. This calf doesn't care about anything but just getting a dinner bucket. <laughs> catch as catch can. So I like to see this young bull. I, uh, didn't know about him for sure. Uh, really liked him and when we bought him and then he bunged himself up fighting with these other bulls so I was a little worried but he's really kind of come out of it. Is that offside or right side hind leg? He's off a little bit on it but he's got a pretty high libido. He's a virgin bull and he's chasing these cows around. That's what we really like. You need a bull with a high libido so that they'll cover a lot of cows. No issues with them. And uh, want to keep covering cows. So that's how we have, have uh, that high conception rate. Nothing worse than a lazy bull that won't chase a cow. They're worthless. I didn't notice that cow. This, she was... Uh, kind of hiding there. He's really checking her out. And that's uh, that's it. Right there's the bull. Oh yeah, there's good flaming activity. Behavior. That bull right there is the one I spent too much money on. He has really good EPDs. Really, really liked his phenotype. And was real quite hopeful that he was going to be a a nice bull for a long time so we paid almost twice as much as we did for him as we did both of these other bulls yeah the boy you just chase her around do your job make all of us happy Again, really working that Jacobson's organ. She seems receptive because she's really not kicking him off, not moving out of his way. Her ears are kind of pinned a little bit. I haven't seen her crank her tail out at all, but uh, maybe, maybe not. Not quite. Really close, but I don't think just quite. Maybe later today, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to happen, though. She's coming into heat soon.